If your drawing has circular objects, or radial objects like these arcs or column circles, it will be useful to have dimensional tools to control those behaviors. So first, we'll control the radius values of these external wall segments by using our radius control here. Radius there, place it, and acknowledge it with an enter. You can see here that the parameter that's generated starts RAD for radial, as opposed to a straightforward linear control, which would have D for distance. Now let's control the diameter of this column by using our diameter dimension. Click, place, and acknowledge with an enter. So it's very straightforward to do this, and like a linear dimension before it, all you have to do now to affect this value would be to double click in this particular case, the diametral control, and we could now increase this value like so. Please notice that these have all been constrained to be equal so that as I changed one column size, that change fed through the model again with the constraints. So like the linear dimensions before it, you use the diameter control here to control the size of this object, and then you let that editing change feed through the entire model using the properly placed constraints that you had before. So to control radial and diameter type dimensions, you use these tools. Very straightforward.